Networks Live, everybody. We are having a great day here. It's a Monday. Thank you for joining us. It's International Picnic Day. Yay! Yay! And we're going to get to that here in just a little bit. But before that, Joy, you've got something you wanted to tell everybody about that happened this weekend. Well, you know, everybody's getting outside because it's summertime. And yes, it's hot, but it's so nice to have this little it's shade. I love it. Oh, I love isn't it. this great? But, you know, it was Father's Day, of course, over the weekend. And it was a beautiful weather to get out and grill. And our daughter, I have got to show you something that she made for my husband, for her father, for Father's Day. Take a look at this. It looks for all the world like a nice grill full of food. This is actually a cake. It's a cake. That's a cake. You have it's to a, look close. It is a cake. My hat's off to AJ. She took a, an idea that she found somewhere and she executed this brilliantly. What looks like burgers, actually little Debbie's. <gasps> little oh, Debbie! <laughs> and the hot dogs are actually um, uh, Tootsie Rolls. Oh my, my goodness. goodness. A million little bitty Tootsie Rolls. She rolled them up oh. and then you put the grill mark. Is that the cutest thing? How long did seen? that take her? You know, I guess from beginning to end, of course, she had to make the cakes too. It was a couple hours process, but not a ton. And the little skewers, the fruit and veggie skewers, are just the candied fruits. That is so, adorable. Isn't wow. it cute? So cute. What are the, the, the uh, grill marks made from? Uh, just icing. Oh, it's icing. You can yeah. get icing, and she stuck it in a toothpick and made her grill marks with she it. She is awesome. I thought it was brilliant, and it looked great. We well, sat it outside, put the beer next to it to make it look for all the world <laughs> yes. like Dad, you know. So you said Joy texted us a photo of it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when I looked at it, I'm like, "Where's the cake? Me I didn't see a cake. I did that. I'm I like, did. I didn't realize that was the cake. I know. It looks so good. It's yeah. like the, the picture makes it look even more like not a cake. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how else I'm to like, describe it. They but. grilled out, but she forgot to send the cake photo. Where's yeah. the cake photo? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, good good work, AJ. Good I job, hope AJ. Everybody yes. have a happy Father's Day for sure. All right, let's get yes. to picnic day. By the way, it's International Picnic Day, so we all thought that we would come out to our weather garden, enjoy the beautiful weather of the Ozarks, and we'd all bring something different maybe that we would bring on a picnic. So, Kelly, do you want to go first? I can go first. Okay. Okay, let me just uh, jump over here. Hang on. Here, I can okay. hear you. Yeah, yes. that's great. This is beautiful, right. whatever this is. Okay. So, I think I think Jeremy, I think both of us were, were inspired by somebody that's come on, on the show before. Um, but this is a farro salad. It's an old, ancient grain. It's wheat. Mm -hmm. And I used about a cup and a fourth of the farro. And I've got, I've got tomatoes. I've got cilantro. I've got some... Um, Oh my goodness, feta cheese in there. Uh, just a bunch of vegetables. Uh, it's it's uh, got some dressing on it, some Italian dressing, and I hope that you guys are gonna like it. I, it looks amazing to me. Yeah. I'm trying to get the flies off of our food. It flies obviously so are good. not invited. It's a summer problem. Yes. You know, we'll get past it. So is Probably this, too. okay, so that are we gonna amazing. just That looks amazing. Yeah, we'll talk about it and then fill our plates. How about that? Okay, I love okay. it. Okay, now my salad, Okay, I, I don't like watermelon, but I do remember somebody being on the show and telling me that lime juice with watermelon mm -hmm. is good. And when I had it, I actually liked watermelon. Yes. So what I've done is I have watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew melon. Oh, that looks so mixed good. Mixed with lime juice, mm -hmm. cilantro, and feta cheese. Oh my. Okay. You said and all the right things. I know, right? All the right things. And then just a little bit of salt, just because you know you eat watermelon sometimes with mm -hmm. salt on it. Yes. It brings out the flavor. It does. Now I'm hoping you guys like this because it's the first time I've ever made it, so I'm hoping it, it tastes alright with cantaloupe and honeydew. Oh, I'm, I'm sure it's great. I love watermelon. I love melon. It's, it is it's very perfect. pretty though for your summer table. Oh, Look how lovely. beautiful that is. It's yes. Gorgeous. Okay, so that was my picnic find. Now what about you, okay. Joy? Okay, a couple of things. Um, I, I'm going to go all Martha Stewart here. <laughs> okay. Minute. I'm all Jeremy Ray. Oh, thank you. I'll take it. I'll take I it. I have a little bit of lavender in my garden. Uh -huh. And I made a nice lavender syrup, so we made, I made a lavender lemonade. Oh, that's so beautiful. So I thought everybody would like a little bit of la lavender lemonade, and you can put lavender sprigs in it. Martha, if can I just get tell you how pretty, Martha? I love the sprig that you've put on the Yeah, your presentation, yes, A+. Very plus. Cheers. Well, I hope a you plus. like it. I love the taste of lavender. The other thing that I brought oh, is, yeah. is that good? It's that so is good. heaven, Joy. It's so good. That's that is amazing. Oh. Okay, the other thing that I brought is, and I'm gonna be honest with you, if you wanna go on a picnic, why do you wanna be in the kitchen all day worrying about it? Have somebody else do the work. This is a Chinese <laughs> dish. What? <laughs> this is one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. It's a, it's a fairly traditional Asian dish called Singapore Mai Fen. 
Okay. And it is curry noodles. Kelly, you get a whole You container. had me at curry. Yeah, I, I love curry. It. You know, I, you can get these little takeout containers. Thank okay. you. If you want to buy them to reuse, I just asked the Chinese restaurant, which is a really neat little place called uh, New Oriental, right off of yes. Chestnut Expressway. I said, would you just divide these out for me? Oh, now, that's nice. This comes hot. It's curry noodles with mm. chicken and shrimp and beef. <laughs> I like it cold. I'm trying, I'm trying to use my chopstick skills here. Yeah. I'm not very I good at say, it. I like it real skinny if mm. I had to use these every day. Oh my God. There is no reason in the world that you cannot make this at home. And mm. if you're worried about the temperature, mm -hmm. all you need to do is make it just with veggies. You don't have to oh. put the meat in it. Make it with ve veggies, but I think it's every bit as good cold as it is, it is warm. I would like it even colder because on a hot summer day, oh, yeah. something like this is going to be good. But don't you just love that curry flavor? I love it. And can I just say, and I think Jeremy and I talked about this earlier, mm. I don't know what it is. It's the texture of the noodles. Mm -hmm. I like the little skinny noodles. Mm -hmm. They are this just tasty. Traditionally made with the little skinny yes. rice noodles. Yep. Do they deliver? And I, they do. Because mm. I'm getting this tonight for dinner. I'm Isn't not that kidding delicious? you. I am not kidding you. I had it cold the other night with um, some chicken thighs that I grilled. Mm. So I put the hot chicken thigh on top of this. But now let somebody else do the work. Enjoy your picnic. That, that is, is a, a great, great idea. idea. So Joy used her brain as well, and we slaved away. But I'm going to fill your plates with a little bit of this. Jared, do you want to put yes, yours on I it, want... or do you want me to serve it? No, I, I want you to serve it to me. Okay. I want to eat it. I'm going to serve it. Oh, yeah. It. If you don't mind, yeah, since you're right there. Because we're getting close on time, so we want to And I do want to the... try all of these amazing dishes. Joy, there, that was you your go. lemonade, though, is a. Mm. Here's a fork. I could. For me. It's so Thank hot you. outside, too. I could chug that whole thing of mm -hmm. lemonade right now. There you go, there's a fork. And you just could toss it up if you wanted to, but it's so good just like it is. And you but know, I it's love also, lavender. If you don't love lavender, you don't have to put it in, but it's so nice. It's so great. And summery. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so good. I love that. Mm. I want to make a lavender ice cream, and you oh, could yes. put just club soda in this. And My make friend a nice Lyra lavender. has yeah. the best recipe for lavender ice cream. Really? Homemade. It is like you can't stop eating it. It's Lyra amazing. Lyra girl, yes. I want that ice cream. Mm -mm. Mm. And that mm. is wonderful. Oh, Kelly, your salad is amazing. You like it? Oh, my God. Oh, great. That farro is delicious. Yeah, it really is. Oh it my. really is. And people, oh wow! Mm -hmm. People don't eat it that much. It's not one that people just pick up off the shelf that readily. But it mm -hmm. is delicious, I think. Oh wow! It's easy <laughs> to cook. Yeah. It's not terribly difficult. It's a nice, healthy grain. It doesn't take long to cook at all. And this is that's nice and cold. Yeah. And that's what it's I want. Very, it's all a good cold salad. Food. Yes. Tell me what you think mm. about the melon, though. I'm mm. very curious because it's my first time making this, and I don't know if I did it right. Oh my gosh. The cilantro is the bomb. It's delicious. I think cilantro makes everything better. The cilantro Can you taste with it the in there? fruit is fantastic. And if you need more salt, I, did, I didn't know how heavy to salt it or not. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I love the feta with the cilantro and the lime. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It actually turned out better than I thought. And I'm not a fan of watermelon. That's why I never well, got it. Yeah, but now you I like it. I didn't know you didn't like watermelon. No. Mm. Oh. oh, gosh. Man, I just wish we could sit out here and eat. Now, all let me day. just tell you, kids, I'm going to leave this in our fridge all week, so let's just eat on this because I've got a whole bowl here. Now, if this ends up missing from the fridge, do, I'll not, know where it went. do not check my house. <laughs> <laughs> you like my... it that well? I'm I so do. Glad. I love it. I think the odds that any of that is left after today is You think it's good? Okay, it's just going to go. Put it I'm in the newsroom saying. and it's gone in a second. Yeah, Joy, can sure. you tell me one more time where you got the Chinese? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. A little place called New Oriental right off of Chestnut Expressway. Okay. And I'm sure other places have it. You can look on the web and find it. But again, if you don't want to, if you're weird about meat and the heat and all of right. this, just make it with veggies. Oh, yeah, that's noodles. true. I'm good. But it's delicious. It's amazing. If you and love curry. We're going to mm. sit here and eat a little bit, but we've got so much more fun on today's show. It's Food and Drink Monday. Mm. We're going to enjoy this picnic food. Ozarks Live will be right back. Don't go anywhere.